Hello everyone, welcome to our practice. My name is Francine and it's my honor to guide you through a core sequence today. Now a lot of the times core can be thought of as abdominals, but there's definitely more to our core than that, including our pelvic floor, including our diaphragm. And so we will be dressing the abdominals and other surrounding areas as well. Let's begin on our backs. Feet to the outer edges, knees falling inward, cactus arms, that's where we have the elbows bent at a 90 degree angle, palms are up towards the sky. We come to the breath. And if the eyes are closed, we will softly flutter them open, open up the knees, let both knees fall to the right, and we come center, both knees fall to the left. Maybe we'll add the head in, so when the knees go to the right, head goes left. Everything comes to center, knees left, head right. And if it makes us lightheaded, if we add the head portion, then we'll simply do the knees and that's okay. And the next time both knees fall to the right, let's leave them there. Option to take the right ankle and place it to the outside of the left knee if we wish. And if we cross, we'll uncross. Both knees then make their way to the left side. Option to take left ankle to outside of right knee. And on crossing, we come to center, bring knees to chest, hands behind knees. Coming into some knee circles, allowing the knees to go to the left. Arms almost straighten as the knees go away, that's inhale. Knees to the right and to chest is exhale. So inhale is when the arms almost straighten. Exhale is when we bend the arms and bring knees to chest. And then we switch our direction. Last one. Keeping the knees over the hip bones, interlacing the hands at the base of the skull. We take a nice inhale. And on the exhale, we bring the back of the head, maybe even the shoulder blades up, chin to chest. We straighten the right leg, bring right elbow to the left knee. And then we switch, we call these bicycles.
last set. Hands behind the knees, taking the back of the head down. Let's take a breath or two. Taking our feet up towards the sky, arms by the ears, let's inhale. Then on the exhale, hands behind the head, knee to nose. Inhale this L shape, exhale a bowl shape. Let's do one more. Hands behind the knees, chin to chest. Let's rock up and down a few times. And on the next one, can we find boat pose, trying not to put our feet down? Now, if we're more comfortable, of course, we can have those feet down, maybe arms by the sides. We breathe. Imagine we have a zipper at the inner thighs, keeping the inner thighs nice and tight and close. And then we release. And we make our way nice and slow to all fours. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, coming into our cat cow. So we inhale, arch. And then we exhale round. We're going to do one more. We come into neutral. And on the next inhale, let's take the right leg back, left arm forward, bird dog. And exhale down. And then switch right arm, left leg. Definitely working our core. And the next time that we have left arm, right leg, let's hold. And then we inhale, exhale, left elbow to right knee, and then inhale, lengthen, exhale, bend. One more. And then we come down. Preparing for the other side. And so left leg, right arm. Squeezing those lower ribs in. We inhale. Exhale, right elbow to left knee. Inhale, lengthen. One more. And then we meet in all fours. I'm going to slightly turn, changing my angle. We're going to extend the right leg out to the side. We're going to take the left arm forward and then take the left arm in line to the side with the left shoulder. Here's the hard part. Can we lift 
the right leg. So we are in what we call awkward bird dog. Won't be here too, too long. Let's come in, extend the left leg. Right arm begins forward, then we take it to the side. And slowly we begin to lift that left leg. And in we go, hips just go side to side. And we inhale, exhale, glancing at our left hip, feeling our right side open. Inhale, center, exhale, glance at the right hip, left side opens. last time on each side. Tucking our toes under, opening up the hands, pressing the fingertips. We're going to find our first down dog of the day. We inhale, exhale, hips come up. Pedaling the feet down one at a time. One question I'm often asked about, what is the right distance between hands and feet and down dog? For me, what I like to think is, can I inhale plank? Exhale dog. Inhale plank without having to move the feet or the hands. For me, this is the ideal. Now, sometimes we'll be tempted if you look, I've walked the feet in, the heels are down. I'm thinking, yes, my heels are down. But could I still do this part? Now, can we come to the knees? Child's pose with the toes tucked under. Let's flow. Down dog. Plank, down dog, child's, down dog, plank, down dog, child's, two more, down dog, plank, down dog, child's, last one, down dog, plank, down dog, this time coming into wide-legged child's pose, toes together, knees are apart, walking the hands forward, And, whew, that was a little bit of excitement there with that little flow. We come up, especially for someone like myself who is still recovering from COVID, takes my breath away pretty quickly. We turn to face the long side of the mat. We extend one leg, coming into side plank. So in side plank, now I've got a modified version with one knee down, taking the other hand up to the sky and feeling like these bottom ribs are reaching up. Option to lift that extended leg or to keep it down, whichever feels right. The leg comes down if it's up, hand comes down, we bring the extended leg in, and we begin to scoot ourselves to the other end, extend one leg, palm up to sky, option to lift the leg.
and that leg comes down. And then let's just take a seat, hands to the heart. 